From Television City in Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's The Joker's Wild. Now, here's the host of our show, Jack Berry. Thank you. Thank you very much, and a very cordial welcome once again to The Joker's Wild. On our last program, we crowned a brand new champion. He won himself $500, but time ran out. We didn't get a chance to let him spin against the devil. Johnny, would you reintroduce the current champion? You bet, Jack. Our current champion is a student at the University of Southern California. A nice welcome for Fred Van Etten. Hi, Fred. Welcome back to The Joker's Wild. Thank you, Jack. You told me after the last, our last program that you were so glad to win the money because you're going to take a trip to Europe. Is that that's, right? That's right. I'm well, you have $500 of it. Would you like to win some more? Well, sure. Come on sure. over here, then, Thank and beat you. the devil. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Fred, under our rules game here, we have we up on the wheels now, nothing but money and devils. Okay. Every time you spin and avoid the devil, you get the money. If you can be lucky enough and have courage enough to go all the way and get $1,000 or more, not only do you keep the money, but you get these bonus gifts as well. It's a fun room for your home. And to serve your guests in style, it's this beautiful crystal. From Crystal Dark, a brilliant, genuine lead crystal 30-piece stemmed wine service from France in the sparkling Tuileries cut pattern. And elegant Versailles barware. And these glasses can be used on your new bar, a stereo bar from Carnegie Electronics in a Spanish oak finish with Formica top with AM, FM, multiplex receiver, automatic phonograph, and pulsating lights, a true conversation piece from Carnegie Electronics. Next, exciting and unique neon art to beautify any wall in your home. A neon sculpture from Neo Art of Hollywood, a unique conversation piece designed by Gabor Gadan. Your name in lights or a beautiful sculpture, an exciting new art form from Neo Art of Hollywood. And to add a final touch to a fun room, it's a pool table. The Brunswick Commander Billiard Table, solidly built to provide family fun and entertainment for years to come as you sharpen your skills in this fine product from the Brunswick Corporation. This bonus round worth in cash and prizes over $2,100. Over $2,100 in cash and prizes if you can avoid the devil. Give it a spin, Fred. Good luck. You have 75, 50, and 75. That's $200 if you quit now. Do you want to quit or do you want to go on? What are you going to do? Who you got I, out there? Yeah, I got a few people right Got a few there. people out there, they're rooting you on. You're gonna go, eh? Okay. Risking $200. 25, 75, 25. <laughs> That's 325. I don't know about your friends out there. Where are they, in the front row? The second row. Oh, the second row, where they're shaking their head. Where do you want to go? Well, should he go or stop? What's your name? Stop. stop. We're good. <laughs> what do you say? I'll go. I'm gonna go. He's gonna go. <laughs> 75. Oh. oh, Fred. Well, hey, listen. You still have the $500 for the trip to Europe. Right, right. That's... And maybe more to come if you can win another game. Okay. So hang on while we do this commercial word, and then we'll be right back with game number two. Let's do that. Here comes game number two for Fred Van Etten, played against this challenger. Jack, she's a teacher who just arrived from Chicago, Illinois. Meet Linda Bigot. Hi, Linda. Your, your last name truly is pronounced Bigot. It sure is. Is that hard to go around with that name as a handle? Oh, now when you got a husband like I do. Oh, why? Because he's great. <laughs> oh, because he's a big bigot, huh? Oh, yeah. No, oh, he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, are you a teacher? Yes, I'm unemployed right now, though, since we I moved see. here. And how do you spend your time? Well, I've been painting, and also we just got a brand new little puppy, so I chase him around the house with a can of Lysol. <laughs> If you chase me around the house with a can of Lysol, I'd be scurrying away, too. I'll well, tell I, you that. I'd hope you wouldn't be making all over the carpet, though. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I broke that habit some time ago. <laughs> Fred and Linda, uh, regretfully, I tell you that this is the last of the Joker's Wild program. And because it is the last, when you hear this sound, the game will be over. Okay? Okay. okay. Starting our game, I show you the categories we're going to be using. Here they are. In this game, we'll be playing with the dance, metals, followed by flags, then we have words, and finally, comedy movies. The flags, incidentally, will be, you'll see the flags, and you'll have to identify them. Your spin, Linda Bigot, good luck. Okay, thank you. 
Metals, metals, words. Okay, I'll take metals for 100, please. Silver will, silver will tarnish when it, when it comes in contact with another metallic substance found in eggs and other foods. Is this substance sulfur, zinc, or manganese? Sulfur. Right, for $100. Ted Bennett and your spin, good luck. Joker, Joker, Joker! Oh! Fred, all you have to do is pick one category. Give me the correct answer, and you have won the next game. I think I'll take flags. Flags. Right. All right, this is worth $500. Answer it correctly, and you will have won your second game. Miss it, the game goes on as before. Take a look at this flag, and for $500, name the Asian nation represented by that flag. Japan. You are right, for $500. <laughs> Congratulations, Fred. Thank you. Thank You're you. now winning $1,000 in cash, and of course, again, you'll get a chance to face the devil. Hey, Linda, you sure had a, sh a short stay on yeah, the program. Yeah, we short. <laughs> I must say it's been an enjoyable one, and we were delighted to hear about the adventures of your dog in well, your thank house. You. <laughs> and backstage will be some consolation prizes. Let's say goodbye to Linda Bigot. Thank Bye-bye, dear. Well, Fred, it seems to me it was just about two minutes ago that you were over here. Well, I hope it doesn't come up again. You got defeated but, by the uh, devil last time. That's Maybe right. Maybe you'll have better luck this time. Yeah, I hope come so. Come on over and find out. Thank here he comes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this time we'll do it. Okay. Well, if you do it and avoid the devil, of course, you'll get the $1,000, and you'll get the wine glasses, the stereo bar, the neon art, and also the thing you said you wanted the most, the pool table. The pool table. You have a place <laughs> to put it? Sure do. Yeah? I know where. W where? I think I'll donate to the fraternity. Oh, in your fraternity house sure. at school. That's a very nice thought. Okay, okay, let's see if you can do it. You are 75. Oh! Fred, you, you were... I, once you, again. You've been a bad boy lately? No, not too, not too bad. You sure? Yeah. You've been behaving yourself? Well, I think so. Well, I'm I sorry. Can't, okay. You have get, you'll have to win another game to come back here and avenge yourself. So go on okay. over there and see if you can win game number three. We'll be back after this. Fred Van Etten has game number three to contend with now against this challenger. Jack, she's a legal secretary who still vividly recalls her encounters with Groucho Marx. Meet Robin April DeLug. Hello, Robin April DeLug. Born in April, no doubt. September. September? Yeah. Lucky you weren't born in June. They would have called you February. <laughs> What's this about Groucho Marx? Oh, he's my idol, and I saw him on the street one day, and I ran over to him really excited and gave him a kiss and told him how much I adored him. And then later on that day, he saw me in a store and came into the store and says, we've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Groucho. Now let me show you the categories we'll be using in this game. Here they are. Categories are potpourri, could be almost any question, elections, followed by colleges, then we have love and marriage, and finally, movies about women. Robin April Dulug, you are first. Good luck. <laughs> movies about women, Pot Puri, and a Joker. I'll take movies about women for 100. All right. Susan Hayward won an Academy Award for her portrayal of a popular singer and actress who hit the skids in the film I'll Cry Tomorrow. Was the last name of the woman she played Barrymore, Holiday, or Roth? Holiday. No, that's not correct. For $100, was it Barrymore or Roth? Barrymore? No, it was Lillian Roth. Lillian Roth. Your spin, Fred. Love and marriage, potpourri, and a joker. Uh, love and marriage for 100 When Thelma Catherine Patricia Ryan married in 1940, was her new married name Ford, Johnson, or Nixon? Johnson. Nope. Was it Ford or Nixon? Could I have the question again, please? Yes. When Thelma Catherine Patricia Ryan married in 1940, was her new married name Ford or Nixon? Ford. No. <laughs> no, you know her better now as Pat Nixon. Catherine Patricia Ryan. Thelma Catherine Patricia Ryan, Pat Nixon. No score, but it is your spin, Robin. 
Elections, movies about women, and a joker. I'll try movies about women again for a hundred. In the classic film All About Eve, who played the title role of Eva Harrington? Was it Betty Davis, Ann Baxter, or Celeste Holm? Betty Davis. No, that's not right. <laughs> You'll pick up a hundred dollars if you can tell me, Fred. Ann Baxter. Ann Baxter is right. You have a hundred dollars. And it's your spin. Joker, elections, love and marriage. I think I'll take elections for a hundred. Okay. Is the name of the first vice president to be selected without a national election John Adams, Lyndon Johnson, or Gerald Ford? Gerald Ford. That is correct. You now have $200. <laughs> Score zero to 200. You have been Robin April Dillard. Potpourri, Joker, colleges. I'll try Potpourri for 100 All right. This could be almost ca any category at all. If someone gave you a tufted titmouse, would you normally keep it in a fish bowl, a squirrel cage, or a bird cage? In a squirrel cage. Nope. nope. Would you keep it in a fish bowl or a bird cage? A bird cage. It's a bird. You're right. You have $300. And it's your spin. Joker, potpourri, elections. I think I'll take elections for 100 OK. A former astronaut is the senator-elect from Ohio. Is his name John Glenn, Neil Armstrong, or Edwin Aldrin? John Glenn. Right, you have $400. <laughs> Your skin, Robin. Joker, potpourri, and a triple. I'll try potpourri for 200 Yes, I think you should. <laughs> Some clocks use Roman numerals to designate the 12 hours, but only one of those numerals is usually written different from the standard Roman system. Is it the four, the six, or the nine? The nine. No, that is not correct. It's a $200 question. You have $400, Fred. Is it a four or a six? Four. You are absolutely right. You have $600. Congratulations, Fred Van Etten. Thank you. You've won Thank you. $600. We add that to the money you've won previously. You're winning all cash, <laughs> a lot to take to Europe, of $1,600. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> As for you, Robin April DeLug, you are the prettiest young lady we've had in here in a long time. I'm sorry to send you home without anything more than some lovely consolation prizes, but let's say goodbye to Robin April DeLug. <laughs> This will be time number three for Fred Van Etten. <laughs> Fred, come on over here and meet this devil. Thank you, Jeff. Some of the guys in the fraternity are out there going, let's go, That's let's right. go. Third. Because they'd like you to win the wine glasses, the stereo bar, the neon art, and particularly the pool table, That's which right. you say you'd put into the fraternity house. I also, $1,000 if you can go all the way over the top. Right. Give them a spin. Thank you. You have 150, 150, 50. <laughs> You have $350 if you quit right now. Do you quit or do you go on? What are you going to do? I'll go. I'll go. He's going, risking $350. 50 75 100 <laughs> Think about it carefully now. You have $575. What do you want to do? They say stop. What are you so going to do? I'll stop. He's going to stop. Right here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570, 575. Added to what you have in previous games, you're now winning $2,175 in cash. That's for Europe. That's great. Yeah, you sure a good time. Every, every penny is in Europe. All right, well, there uh, still may be time for another game. We'll find out after this. Fred Van Etten, winning $2,175 in cash, now plays his fourth game against this challenger. Jackie's a university student who also works as a movie attendant. Meet Michael Malone. Hello, Michael. How are you? Now, Fred goes to the USC. Where do you go? I go to Mount Sac and Walnut. Yay! Very good. You have your rooters out here. 
And you, uh, you work as a movie attendant. What do you do exactly as a movie attendant? Well, I do just about everything from taking tickets to cleaning up where people ate too much candy. <laughs> what do you do in your days off? I sometimes go to the movie. Oh, why not? <laughs> well, players, let me show you the categories that will be used in this game. And please remember, when you hear the buzzer sound, that means that the game is over because this is our last show. Okay, let me take a look at the categories for you. Here they are. They're women newsmakers, famous jacks, medicine, followed by showbiz partners, and finally, trivia. Michael Malone, your spin, good luck. <laughs> Women newsmakers, Joker and a triple. All the way for 200. Okay, this lady has surprised even her severest critics with the job she has been doing as the ambassador to Ghana. For $200, is her last name Black? Chisholm or Priest? Black. Yes, Shirley Temple Black. You are two hundred Fred Van Etten, your spin in your fourth game. Good luck. Trivia, women newsmakers and a pair. Women's newsmakers for 100, please. All right. Ella Grasso is the first woman elected governor of a state without following her husband in that office. Is the state she serves Massachusetts, Connecticut, or Rhode Island? Rhode Island. No, that is not correct. Michael Malone, you have $200. You could pick up another $100. Is it Massachusetts or Connecticut? Massachusetts. No, that is wrong. It is Connecticut. Your spin, Michael. Joker, medicine, and a triple. 200, please. I beg your pardon? 200. For medicine? Yes, sir. All right. If you answer this correctly, you will have $400. An accepted method of taking a person's temperature is to place the thermometer under their arm. Will this temperature reading be the same as the oral reading, one degree higher than an oral reading, or one degree lower than an oral reading? One degree lower. The skin is cooler than the internal areas, and so it is one degree lower. You have $400. Score 400 to zero at this point. Fred Van Etten, your spin. Women newsmakers, Joker, and medicine. I'll try medicine for 100. You're going to take your medicine, huh? All right. Okay. Just mine. Here you go. A condition which has received much attention since Richard Nixon began suffering from it is characterized by an inflammation of the veins and clotting inside the vessels. Was his condition called peritonitis, phlebitis, or gastroenteritis? Phlebitis. Right, phlebitis for 100 hours. Score at this point is 400 to 100, and that buzzer means, gentlemen, that our time is up. I regret to say we cannot finish this game because this is our last program. However, Michael, you do get the $400 that you have there. We add the 100 that you had to the previous, and you're going to take home $2,275. Congratulations, Fred and Michael Malone, and we'll be back for our final goodbyes after this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last Joker's Wild program. On Monday, a new program will appear here. It is called Spin Off, and it features a very good friend of mine, Jim Lang. I hope that you will watch it, because I'm sure you will enjoy it. 686 programs ago, I had the distinct pleasure of saying welcome to the Joker's Wild. I could not have been able to say that then, nor could I say goodbye to you now, without acknowledging the contributions made by my friends here at CBS. Notably, the chief of program is Mr. Fred Silverman, Mr. Bud Grant, Mr. Oscar Katz, and Mr. Michael Ogans. Their patience has been monumental. Their loyalty has been terrific, as it has been those of you who are watching. I'd also like to pay a special tribute, along with my executive producer, Dan Enright, to two individuals who have helped so much to make this program the three-year success that has it enjoyed here on CBS. In particular, our director, Richard Klein, with whom we, without whom we could not have done the program, and the great contributions made by our producer, Justin Edgerton. At the end of this program, I cannot, there is not time for me to list everybody. You will see a full list of the names of the people, both on the technical staff and on the staff of my own company, without whom we could not have brought you 686 programs. We hope that you've enjoyed them. It's been a great privilege for me to have been with you these three years. They have been the very, very happiest and most productive years of my life. 
We'll be seeing you again shortly. And now for the 686th time, this is Jack Barry for all of us here in the Joker's Wild, thanking you for your loyalty and saying goodbye. will receive the Sunbeam Decorator Fry Pan, coated with new improved Teflon too for no stick cooking and easy cleanup to create Pennywise Party Perfect Dinners Teflon and Lee and Perrin Sauce, the original Worcestershire sauce. Contains only pure natural products. Enhance your recipes with Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, plus Toastums from Flavor Kissed. Quick, convenient, and delicious toasted or as is your family will love Toastums for breakfast, dessert, and snacks. And Sego Diet Food, the low-cost, low-calorie lunch. Here's one way to save money. Sego for lunch, rich, creamy, and helpful. Plus, a supply of many quick first aid spray at Penetration cuts and scrapes to help prevent infection, relieves the itch of insect bites, and helps cool sunburn. And new Ogilvy Dab Curl, the home permanent with mint-scented waving lotion and an exclusive dab on dispenser. Ogilvy, we know how to treat your hair. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.